Hello guys, welcome to Sigma Tech. Today we have a laptop board which is from a dealer and uh, this is the board. It's a uh, HP 640G2 and the model number is 6050A273701-MB-A02. The board is not turning on and the main thing is this board doesn't have a schematic as well as body so you know repairing this kind of boards are very difficult anyway let's try to uh, fix this board by using whatever experience we have uh, let's see what is the problem so guys we have removed the heat sink and the other parts of it and let's remove this as well Okay, so the board is completely open now. Now, before doing cold checking, what we'll do is, as per the dealer, the board is not turning on. So we will inject the voltage, 19 volt, and see what is happening. Based on that, we will expand our probe. So here we have a DC at 19 volts, and we are injecting it. Okay, there is no direct turning on and uh, there is no rise in ampere even there is no milli ampere as well so we will check it out if there is any voltage coming inside or not hopefully we, you can see it now we will measure the voltages the left corner of the MOSFET yes 19 volt is coming and the opposite direction there is no voltage at the gate if we check no voltage resistor 19 volt is coming here elsewhere in this MOSFET no voltage no voltage no voltage no voltage and here we can see uh, there is a BQ IC as well so I think there is a problem in this line itself okay and this could be the first MOSFET the voltage is not crossing from this MOSFET uh, source to uh, drain to source and this is the yes this is the drain and this is the source so at the drain of this MOSFET the voltage is present but it is not coming out from the source so maybe uh, there is an issue with the MOSFET or maybe there is an issue with the gate of this MOSFET if I can zoom it and show you so I am talking about this MOSFET you can see once again the voltage is coming on the drain of this MOSFET and there is no voltage at the source of this MOSFET we must get voltage here to function other things ok so as you know there is no schematic and no board view we have to rely on experience and we have to check it out which MOSFET it is and why it is not functioning so before that let's do some cold checking and find out if there is any shorting on this area ok so multimeter is all ready and now let's check it out if there is anything short here hopefully you can see it source to ground there is no beep no beep Okay, as I doubted, on this register there is a beep. You can see it, and here also there is one CLR, but there is no beep. Yes, in this capacitor, in both the capacitor and this jumper, yes, guys, I think there is a problem in this one. So, what we are going to do is we will remove this. Uh, CLR I will zoom it and show you here the beep is coming ok here on this MOSFET there is no beep in this capacitor there is a beep and this register there is a beep so 
what we are going to do is we will remove this resistor and we will check it out which side the short is there or that side we will inject some voltage and check it out what component is heating based on that we will shut it out this looks like an easy case uh, though a schematic and board view is not available let's do it so guys if you are new to my channel please click subscribe button and press the bell icon as well so that you will be getting update very then and often we make videos on how to repair laptop motherboards and tech and tricks Oh guys we have removed the sealer register and now we will check it out which side is having the short okay so this side is the short now we'll inject the voltage this side we already kept it ready we just have to inject it and now we will turn on the dc the dc is currently at the 1.2 volts now we'll check it out if anything is heating i am doubtful about these two caps Let's see what's heating. We'll increase little bit more voltage. Now it is two volts. So guys, I think this IC is heating. It is not the MOSFET. It is not the capacitor, but it is the IC. This IC. Oh, not this I see, these two caps. See guys, these two caps are heating. The heat is coming till here, but the, these caps. Yes. These two caps are heating. Let's remove and check it out. So we have removed one cap. Now let's check it out. Yes, the first one. So guys, it is confirmed that uh, this cap was short. Now we have removed it and the short has gone. If we, if you touch here, the value you can see instead of beeping, it is giving the value. Now we will put back this CLR and then we will put another cap from where we have removed it. Okay guys, so we have soldered it, now we will check it out, if there is any shorting left or everything is clear now and we are ready to inject voltage. Okay, so the value is coming now, hopefully the voltage will come now. Let's connect to the DC jack. Okay, so the DC is ready now, we will connect it. Yeah, it is taking 0.01. Okay, the board is on now. Uh, let me show you. As you can see, it is taking up to 0 
but the fan is still not spinning uh, we will connect the keyboard as we don't have uh, the screen now okay the fan has started hopefully the display might have come we will check it out with the help of keyboard so guys we have uh, inserted the keyboard and now here you can see the display is coming on the keyboard if i click the caps lock the light is glowing so that means the display has come and our job is done so for more such videos please subscribe my channel and share it to the people who would like to learn repairing thanks for watching have a nice day